What is a Joseph's injunction? Have you ever wondered how tiny particles can flow through barriers without any push? This is where the Joseph's injunction comes into play. A Joseph's injunction is a fascinating device made of to superconducting materials separated by a thin insulating barrier. This setup allows for the flow of Cooper pairs, which are pairs of electrons that act as a single unit in superconductors, even when no voltage is applied. This unique behavior is known as the Josephson effect, named after Brian Josephson, who predicted it in 1962. Let's break down the basic components. First, we have the superconducting materials. These materials lose all electrical resistance when cooled below a certain temperature, which is very close to absolute zero. Common examples of these superconductors include niobium and aluminum. Next, there is the insulating barrier, often made from metal oxides like aluminum oxide. The thickness of this barrier is carefully controlled to optimize the junction's performance. Now, how does it operate? The Josephson effect allows a supercurrent to flow between the two superconductors without any applied voltage. When a voltage is applied, the current oscillates rapidly. The Cooper pairs tunnel through the insulating barrier, allowing current to flow. The tunneling current depends on the sign of the phase difference between the two superconductors. Joseph's injunctions have practical applications that are quite impressive. One of the most notable uses is in SQUIDs, which stands for Superconducting Quantum Interference Devices. These devices are extremely sensitive magnetometers that can detect tiny variations in magnetic fields. This sensitivity makes them useful for measuring the Earth's magnetic field and even neural activity in the brain. In the realm of quantum computing, Joseph's injunctions play a key role as well. They are used in superconducting qubits, which are essential for quantum computing. These qubits can establish a quantum mechanical basis of one or zero between discrete energy levels. From a chemistry perspective, the material science aspect of Joseph's injunctions is very important. The choice of superconducting materials and the insulating barrier significantly impacts the performance of the junction. The process of forming the insulating layer, often through oxidation, and controlling its thickness are critical chemical processes in creating these devices. Understanding the chemical properties of these materials helps optimize their performance for various applications. In summary, a Josephson junction is a remarkable device that combines superconducting materials and insulating barriers to create unique electrical properties. Its applications in squids and quantum computing showcase its importance in both materials science and chemistry education.